Hello, I'm Andy Edwards, and we're going to be talking with Claire Hallisey, who has uh, been the top British woman finisher in this year's Virgin London Marathon and put herself in pole position for an Olympic marathon place and smashing her personal best as well. Claire, great run. You had a target of having to run 2.28.24 to beat Joe Pavey's time. You did that with a vengeance, breaking 2.28. Did you think that today was going to be a special day? Um, well, sub 228 was kind of the target going into it. Um, see, I, I didn't know until, until on the day um, whether that's what I'd actually be able to achieve. But I thought kind of realistically that's what was needed to get the selectors to kind of take notice and to put myself in, in contention for, for that final spot. So there wasn't really any point in coming here and, and going for anything slower than that. Were there any rough patches in the race for you? Um, yeah, I've, I found it. I mean, it's, it's the toughest marathon that I've run to date, um, so it makes sense that it was my fastest. But yeah, there were definitely moments, particularly sort of around the halfway point, where I was a little bit worried that maybe I'd gone off a bit quick, maybe I didn't have enough in me to sort of get myself to the, to the finish. But I just pulled myself together and was like, well, come on, you can do it and just keep it going and, and get to that finish line. You had British rivals around you and there's just one place on the women's uh, British Olympic marathon team this year. So was that extra incentive? Did that help actually to know that, well, the people you're running against, they're within view? Yeah, it was definitely nice having that sort of strong British contingent around and sort of all of us kind of pushing for that time. I think it, it would have been a difficult target to get to otherwise. But at the same time, I sort of tried to put it all out of my mind in a way as well, just because there's a danger if you kind of get too focused on sort of other people and on that sort of final Olympic spot that your sort of race kind of comes apart a bit. If selected for the Olympics, uh, would you move back? Because I know you're living in the USA. Would you want to be in Britain uh, for, for longer because it's the London Olympics marathon? I've already been sent what UK Athletics have got as the plan for what the preparations um, would be if I did get selected. And it does involve um, going out to um, Font Rameau, the um, altitude training camp out there. Um, so actually, yeah, I'd probably fly back to the, the UK for a little bit before then joining up with like, the rest of the team and going out and sort of um, doing the same preparations as everybody else. Well, if that selection news is good, we wish you every success for your greatest marathon to date uh, in the Olympics. But it's been a pretty wonderful day for you. Thank you very much, Claire, and congratulations. Thank you.